is up you guys we're back to another one if you're new to the channel i am gold pony as you do car truck suv reviews on youtube and today we're in the brand new 2023 volvo v60 courtesy of younger volvo in hagerstown maryland for more information on their inventory please feel free to check out the link in the description box below and so we're in this one today for one because it is a wagon and wagons are freaking awesome but you guys know with volvo you're either going to get them made in china or sweden depending upon the vehicle that you go with good news the vin actually starts with a y so the v60 is built in sweden so absolutely love that as well and there's actually some changes for the 2023 volvo v60 as well so ultimately in this video we will be testing out and going over everything about this one from acceleration to braking steering fill ride quality sound system exhaust clip all that fun stuff so having said all of that what do you guys say let's just go ahead and jump right into it and as always let's start with pricing so essentially there are two trim levels for the 2023 v60 cross country first one being the plus trim level which is the one we have today starting at fifty thousand ninety five dollars then there is the ultimate starting at fifty five thousand three hundred ninety five dollars but regardless of trim level that you go with the power plant on this one is going to be the same powering the beast is a two liter turbocharged inline four cylinder with a mild hybrid system putting out 250 horsepower at 5400 rpm 258 pound feet of torque coming in at 1800 rpm power sent to all four wheels through an eight speed automatic zero to 60 time coming in at approximately 7.1 seconds with mpg numbers coming in at 23 in the city 30 then on the highway and so before we do any kind of fun acceleration test here in our v60 i wanted to mention to you guys there is an off-road drive mode and then there's also a steering sensitivity mode where you can adjust it to a heavier feel if you wanted to that's kind of the extent of the drive modes on this thing obviously we're not going to be testing out the off-road drive mode because uh, more than likely this one is going back in the showroom afterwards but the steering sensitivity i will be touching on that a little bit later in the video but now having got all of that out of the way what do you guys say let's go ahead and find it straight away let's put the v60 here to the test and let's see how quickly we can get this one here up to speed all right found her straight away and waiting for a green light here we go go baby oh dump truck next to us <laughs> this thing's quick dude this thing is quick i like it yeah that that's awesome definitely not gonna have any issues with merging onto the highway this thing is plenty quick i love it the fact that a wagon could be this quick that is a quite brilliant thing in my personal opinion but anyways i love that acceleration but to go along with that acceleration as always braking is equally important and so up front you will find 13.6 inch ventilated front discs in the back 12.6 inch ventilated rear discs as far as that 60 zero stopping distance goes comes in at 121 feet which is plenty respectable it's pretty much right on par for the course so usually uh teens the one teens is typically sports sedan good kind of thing and then the 130s is suvs so 121 that's borderline on the better side of things the braking feel is perfectly fine it's not a firm braking feel but it's not a soft braking feel either so it's right in the middle then touching on suspension and handling up front you're going to get an independent double wishbone tight front suspension in the back integral link rear suspension as far as ride quality goes in my short little test drive here so far at least it's been 100 on point definitely not having any issues with ride quality it feels perfectly fine i personally wouldn't have any issues taking this thing on a long road trip to ocean city maryland or something like that it feels great then touching on steering feel definitely leans towards the heavier side of things and i like the 10 and 2 grips that has a nice little place to put your thumb but anyways i'm gonna go off topic steering feel is great i love it heavier side of things not a loose steering feel like you typically will find in suvs so this is definitely more geared towards a car like steering feel if you were comparing this between like an xc90 or something like that so i'm a big fan of that as well as far as cabin noise goes we're going 57 miles per hour right now so i'll let you guys kind of be the judge of that but so far it's perfectly fine definitely absorbing any kind of road or wind noise pretty well into the cab a little bit of road noise but it's to be expected so definitely no issues there then touching on visibility as i turn on the fogger here because uh we're getting kind of steamed up in here i can see perfectly fine out the back so <clears throat> definitely not going to have any issues there rain sensing windshield wipers actually do come standard on the v60 as well so that is great essentially what that means is whenever this thing detects any kind of mist or rainfall it's going to automatically turn on those windshield wipers for you so that's very nice as well and if you were to go with the ultimate trim level you will in addition to that get a head-up display projecting your speed speed limit and safety features up on your windshield so that's going to assist with forward visibility there as well and again that's just for the ultimate so therefore we don't have it on our plus trim level with us here today unfortunately so 
Now that we got all of that out of the way, what do you guys say? Let's go ahead and find a cool little spot and let's check out the exterior now of our new 2023 Volvo V60 Cross Country. All right, so here she is, you guys, the new 2023 Volvo V60 Cross Country finished in onyx black metallic, in case you were curious of our exact exterior color name, but revised front grille for 2023. So let me start by showing that to you guys. So slight change, nothing crazy, but of course, like I mentioned at the beginning of this video, the VIN number on the V60 does start with a Y, indicating that this one is actually built in Sweden. Fun fact, the Volvo cars are built in China, the Volvo SUVs are built in Sweden, so wasn't sure what I was gonna expect here with the with the wagon form, so this one is built in Sweden, so that's pretty cool. Up front, cross-country specific front grille will come standard, of course. It's the first thing I wanna emphasize, so it differentiates itself between the S60 and uh, of course, the XC60 as well. LED headlights with LED Thor's hammer daytime running lights coming standard. You do get the automatic feature, meaning when it starts to get dark at night, those headlights will turn on automatically for you then. Automatic high beams though as well, meaning if you have your high beams on at night and it senses a vehicle coming in the opposite direction, it's gonna automatically dim them back down to low beams. And then when that vehicle is gone, it's gonna automatically bounce it back up to high beams. So definitely a convenient feature there. I love that feature personally. LED fog lights down below. You guys can see that, that also comes standard of both trim levels of course and you do have a matte black front lip and that matte uh cladding is going to continue around to the side skirts in the back then as well but overall you guys have seen the front end before but it is a very specific front grille to the v60 so i do like that but and one more thing i wanted to mention i almost forgot so these little indicators you guys could probably see uh these little indicators below the headlights here that is actually the headlight washer so they're actually going to pop out and spray the headlights a little bit you guys could probably tell headlights are a little wet i already tell tested it out it was pretty freaking cool so i do want to emphasize that as well but anyways that about rounds out the front end of this one let's now go ahead and make our way to the side all right so starting up top here silver roof rails do come standard on the v60 gloss black window surrounds also coming standard taking a look at the side mirrors they are body colored power adjustable they are also heated with led integrated turret signals so i love all of that taking a look then down at the wheel configurations 18 inch five spoke diamond cut alloys is what you guys are currently looking at and that is going to come on the plus trim level however ultimate is going to bump that up to 19 inch double five spoke black diamond cut alloy so little differentiation there probably the easiest way to tell what trim level you're looking at on a lot as well but anyways love the rear privacy glass as well i don't think i mentioned that that is pretty cool too but anyways that pretty much rounds out the side profile here let's now go ahead and make our way to the back all right so then starting all the way to the top you will find a body colored shark fin antenna of course just below that rear spoiler with an integrated brake light just below that rear window wiper i love that got the volvo lettering spelled out horizontally of course you also have led tail lights as expected coming standard v60 badging of course you get the b5 all-wheel drive badging then as well but i did want to mention here there is a revised rear bumper for 2023 how so do you ask well for one there is cross-country lettering etched into that rear bumper the bottom portion there but i did also want to mention in previous years there were exposed exhaust outlets whereas for 2023 that is one of the changes on the exterior there are now still dual exhaust outlets but they're tucked away underneath uh, kind of like I think their SUVs are doing right now as well. So I do want to mention that little differentiator there, but having said that, I do believe you guys know what we have to do next. As always here is that exhaust clip. Right, so but now since we are around to the back of the tailgate here when it comes to opening that tailgate there is a button on the key fob of course there is a button by the driver's side left knee and of course there is a button on the tailgate itself and it is a power tailgate as well so that's pretty darn cool but once opened up cargo capacity comes in at 23 cubic feet if that was not enough space of course the rear seats do fold down for quite a bit of extra space then if you needed it there is some netted storage back there there's some cargo lighting of course there are plenty of grocery bag hooks i want to 
emphasize that because usually you get one on each side, but in the V60, you get two on each side. So I like that. Lots of grocery bag hooks. There's some chrome plated tie down anchors as well. Then if you were to lift up underneath of that cargo floor, you will find some in floor stored a little bit, but mostly just the spare tire is gonna be found underneath of that. But anyways, then make our way up to the rear legroom that comes in at 35.2 inches. So for reference, I'm an even six feet tall. This is how much space I have back there. Rear center armrest with cup holders. The cup holders pop out of the front, of course. There is some rear ventilation back there as expected. There's a couple phone charging ports and we actually have an optional package. I believe it's called the Climate Package. It goes for approximately $750. It gives you heated rear seats as well so 100 percent love that so spoiling the rear passengers a little bit there so then making our way up to the front seats leather seating is going to come standard however napa leather seating is going to come with the ultimate flag of sweden of course found on the passenger seat that's one of the best parts about every volvo of course power adjustable front seats will come standard that comes with power lumbar heated front seats does come standard ventilated front seats for the ultimate trim level power cushion extension for the ultimate trim level and power side bolsters for the ultimate trim level. So a little more adjustments there for the ultimate, but having said that, this is far right here in the plus trim level. I will say it's a little bit on the stiffer side of things, but nothing that would personally bother me on a long road trip or anything like that. But anyways, then make our way to the steering wheel. It is tilt and telescoping. It is a leather free steering wheel. So it's actually made with a synthetic material. I actually love it. I love the feeling of this. I actually think I might prefer it to a leather wrap steering wheel as well so it's kind of got a sportier feel to it, a little more texturized kind of i guess you could say and like i said the 10 and 2 grips have nice little spots to put your thumb as well and because we have that climate package with our plus trim level today we actually have a heated steering wheel however i do want to say the ultimate trim level gets the heated steering wheel standard but you can get it on the plus like we have today and let me tell you guys it is incredibly hot perhaps the hottest steering wheel that i have ever felt i have it turned all the way up because it's in the 40s today here in Western Maryland, but I love that. But anyways, to make our way to the startup, let me start by showing you guys the key here. You got your Volvo logo on the one side, then all of your buttons are actually located on the side of the key. It's gonna be lock, unlock, and the button to pop the rear tailgate there, but it is all keyless enter with a turn knob start. If you're not familiar with Volvo, essentially the way that works is you put your foot on the brake and you turn it to the right to start it, to stop it, same thing. You put your foot on the brake, and once again, you turn it to the right. You don't turn it to the left, always turn it to the right, but that's gonna stop it for you. But anyways, one of my favorite parts about the V60 and most Volvos, 12.3 inch digital gauge cluster does come standard powered by Google. You gotta love it. Speedometers all the way to your left with a digital speedometer within that. Tachometer is gonna be on your right. There is a full digital display, of course. You got the navigation really front and center. I love that look and it's powered by Google Maps, of course. And you could turn that on and off if you wanted to, but I would prefer just to leave it on because it is incredibly accurate because it's powered by Google Maps and it looks dang good up there. So you got outside temperature, how many miles you have left until you hit empty, of course, as well. So love the gauges on this thing, but then making our way to overall interior quality. Panoramic moonroof does come standard of both the plus and the ultimate trims. Gotta love that. Do you have a frameless rear view mirror with home light controls for up to three different garage doors? Big fan of that as well. Aluminum door sills do come standard. You're gonna get a hand stitched gear selector coming with the plus trim level. But if you were to go with the Ultimate, you're gonna get a crystal gear selector by Orfors, which is a crystal company from Sweden. So that is pretty darn cool. I always like those in Volvo's. Taylor dashboard is gonna come with the Ultimate. Driftwood inlays coming with the Ultimate. But I will say I like our linear lime decor coming with the Plus. And that's gonna kind of look like a wood trim as well. Found just above the passenger side glove box and uh, right around the shifter as well. You got some gloss black accents around the shifter. Uh, just in front of the shifter, you got a little bit of rubberized storage you got a 12 volt power outlet couple cup holders of course electromechanical mechanical parking brake and within the center armrest a couple more phone charging ports and some more rubberized storage that's all plenty fine but i actually do like the interior quality i like the black and the brown theme going on in our particular configuration as well it looks dang good but now let's make our way to the infotainment screen it is a nine inch vertical color touchscreen display Bluetooth and audio streaming coming standard, Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, factory navigation system. You can check out your climate control settings up there. You can adjust your heated steering wheel buttons and your heated seat buttons as well. You have the uh, drive mode, the off-road drive mode, and the steering sensitivity adjustments. And of course your radio information as well. And so when it comes to the sound systems for the V60, there are three of them. So the first one is gonna be a 10 speaker sound system with 220 watts. That one comes with a plus trim level. 
Then there is a 14 speaker Harman Kardon sound system with 600 watts. That one comes with the ultimate. It's available for the plus trim level. Then lastly is a 15 speaker Bowers and Wilkins sound system with 1410 watts. That one is available for the ultimate trim. If you wanted it, it goes for $3,200. That's still the best sound system to date. I heard it in the S90, a little bit different configuration, but that's still my favorite sound system in the last 700 plus cars I've reviewed. So having said that, we do have the 10 speaker sound system with us here today. So what do you guys say? Let's go ahead and turn on the radio, see what we got playing this morning, and let's test out the clarity of this one. honest that wasn't that bad or like 10 speakers in this size of the vehicle it sounds really really good like that's not a bad sound system of course the other two are going to sound better but for me that's not that bad the other thing i noticed was how incredibly smooth this infotainment system was when i was just scrolling through all of the different stations i don't think i've encountered a smoother kind of infotainment screen before usually it's a little bit glitchy and there's a little bit of a delay to almost all the infotainment systems but with volvo it's just so incredibly smooth i like it but anyways last thing i want to mention to you guys on the infotainment screen is when you do put the v60 in reverse you will find a rear view camera coming standard across the board 360 degree monitor of course is available as well but as always that is going to lead us into safety and so first let me start by saying iihs top safety pick plus which of course is the very highest designation given by IIHS. In typical Volvo fashion, that pretty much says it all right there. Always incredibly safe. Front side side current airbags do come standard. Driver's knee airbag as well. In the back, you're going to have Lash, aka lower anchors and tethers for children for the rear car seats, rear child door locks, tire pressure monitoring system, but also coming standard. Adaptive cruise control, adaptive power steering, blind spot monitoring system with rear cross traffic alert, lane keep assist, oncoming lane mitigation, pilot assist, and road sign information information telling you the speed limit of any given road then as well so that's always handy but anyways when it comes to my final thoughts here of the v60 this thing is incredibly rare it's so hard to find them even if you're at a volvo dealership they very rarely come in so i like that it's a rare wagon built in sweden that pretty much says it all right there excellent tech the digital gauges are wonderful the infotainment system is incredibly smooth it has everything on there that you would possibly need so big fan of that as well incredible safety as i just got done mentioning plenty quick really the driving dynamics on this thing are really really good you got great acceleration you got pretty good braking you got really really good handling and steering feel overall so I like the driving dynamics a lot, actually. It kind of reminds me of the S60 I just got to reviewing not too long ago. As far as the room for improvement goes, I wouldn't mind it seeing some multicolor ambient lighting. I think that would definitely be the next step up for Volvo, BMW, and Mercedes-Benz does it after all. So I think that would be a pretty cool addition. And uh, the only other thing I could think of is perhaps the questionable reliability. So if you look at Consumer Reports magazine, uh, just get to a grocery store, or Walmart, or whatever, it doesn't give the highest ranking. So that, that would possibly be in the back of my mind but really other than that this is a pretty incredible rare vehicle so let me know what you guys think of the v60 in the comments section below and that is about it for this one you guys thank you so much for watching feel free to follow me on social media at the bottom of the screen if you want to see what's coming next on the channel before it gets to youtube be sure to hit the subscribe and the bell notification button if you're into new car reviews that is what we do here on this channel after all do appreciate you guys watching more than you know and i will see you guys all in the next video stay gold